Thanks for staying with us. And we are thrilled that Father Claude and Father Antonio are joining us in the living room. Thank you so much for being with us today. To Buongiorno. Here. So, Buongiorno. you know, I know about cannolis down in the north end, which for people who are, who are watching us outside of Massachusetts, you know, it's, it's a great place to eat. Uh, but there's also a beautiful church down there, St. Leonard's. And there's been a little work going on. Tell us about the renovations. Well, when uh, Father Claude and I came to North End in 2004, we immediately realized that um, there were a lot. Of, there was a lot of work to be done ar around the buildings. They were in very serious disrepair. So we started renovating the old rectory, and then the convent, the former convent that has become the new rectory and the parish offices. Huh? And uh, lastly, we started working around the church building. First, we repaired the roof. Then we uh, repointed the bricks and cleaned them. Uh, we built a ramp to allow easy access to everyone. And after that, we redid the garden and the, its pathway. And uh, finally, we also had a small bookstore for the benefit of parishioners and uh, visitors. Nice. Yeah. And you know, uh, as, as I understand it, St. Leonard's was the first parish established by Italian immigrants. That's true. Uh, and, and, and so, beyond the church, which is a must-see, it's also a great community. Father Claude, can you tell us about the parish community? Okay, well, it is changing, uh, especially in the last 50 years. It's not quite the way it used to be at one time. So it's good that we have this church, this, this, this monument there mm. that reminds people of the spiritual di uh, dimension of our lives, sure. you know? So it's a reminder. Also, it's a beacon for people who have left the parish years ago. They're not that has changed. Many families, like my family, have moved away completely. And, uh, but they like to come back for baptisms and funerals oh, and yeah. weddings. So we cater to them also, and also the community that still remains there in the North End. So it's kind of like a parish without boundaries. So to speak, yeah. <laughs> so to speak, exactly. Yeah. And all the great festivals that go on oh, in the yeah. North. We're oh, talking yeah. about that. I got caught in one of those just a couple of weeks ago, uh -huh. and it's hard to get around. Oh, and how, absolutely. And packed. Oh, yeah, you have to structure that day. <laughs> when the festival's there, if your car's in the, in the North End. Forget it. <laughs> You're in trouble. You're in trouble. Right. Well, Father Antonio, so we're doing these renovations, never easy, you've got to raise money, you've got to do all these things. How'd you raise, raise the money and, and when do you expect all this work to be completed? Well, lastly, on uh, January the 2nd uh, of this year, we started the <coughs> interior restoration of the, of the church, a project, a challenging project mm. still uh, in progress. Um, after paying for the repairs of the buildings, in the last 12 years, we have been able to uh, save about half of the money we are spending on this last project. Wow. Uh, thanks to the generosity of benefactors, especially visitors, and benefactors of the Franciscan family as well. They show their appreciation um, for finding our, our church always open. During summer months, the church opens at 8, and closes uh, around the midnight. Huh? Yes, and people keep coming inside the church. They find it to be very inspiring. And, uh, you know, um, they show appreciation by sending notes and also also donations. Were it not for them, we would have hardly done half of the work so far accomplished. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I would take this occasion to thank them for being generous to us. And you know what? As as uh, grateful people, we're grateful that you're with us today, and we want our viewers to know how they can help out, because so many people love the North End, and even people, as you say, outside of the city. Where can people go if they want to help this, uh, this great project and complete the renovation? Uh, wh where can people go? Well, there's a site okay. that they can, they can uh, go to, and that is RestoreStLeonard.com. RestoreStLeonard.com? RestoreStLeonard.com. Uh -huh. That's easy. Very simple, yeah. And, and you, you think it's going to be complete by the, uh, the middle of November or something? By the middle of November. We hope that the Cardinal will uh, uh, give us a date before Christmas to bless the church and make it over. Well, if you can't get the Cardinal. 
you can get Why me. not? You're most welcome to share. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're almost, we're almost out of time, but I have to ask. You do say there are so many people. You say a lot of people stop in. It must be great for you guys to see so many people yeah. just come into that church and, and treat it in a very special way. Yeah, we try to be always available to them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a very, very simple ministry. But I think the people find, appreciate the fact that we are there for them when they can. Now, let's just say I, I was in the North End and I wanted to... I had a special intention. I wanted to light a candle. Would that be possible, St. Oh, yeah. We had that. <laughs> also candles to light. <laughs> Very possible. <laughs> I had a funny feeling. <laughs> and now, let's say that I was in the North End, and I already lit that candle. Then I had to find a really good place to eat. Any suggestions? Uh, well, well okay. it's difficult for us to, to give names. So most of the restaurants are excellent in North End. <laughs> you can hardly go wrong. That might be the perfect, perfect response. <laughs> How about Father? the friary? How's the, how's the cucina in the friary? It's good. Yeah, it's good. I bet it is. Well, grazie. Thank you so much <laughs> for being welcome. with us Glad today to be here. and sharing the story. It is wonderful to have you.